Okay, so let's start. So welcome guys again sa ating uh, synchronous lecture for mathematics in the modern world. Uh, so we have our topic for today. So yung topic natin for today is about problem solving. So patulad nung nangyari dun sa last number natin during prelim exam, uh, it's one kind of a problem solving problem question na kailangan comprehension nung, nung tamang inihingi ano? para ma-solve na tama yung problem. Okay? So before we going to problem solving, dapat ma uh, balikan muna natin yung meaning ng function muna. Kasi yung mga function na yun, yung equations na gagamitin natin, yun yung um, kailangan natin i-formulate when we are converting yung mga word problem natin into uh, algebraic expression. Okay? So at the end of this session, hopefully, these are the things that we will gain. So the first one is yung to define and contrast the two kinds of mapping, yung one-to-one -one, and uh, on-to function. Next is yung determine if a, if a function is one-to-one -one or on-to. Next is yung ability to translate mathematical statements into symbols. And last is the ability to appreciate mathematics as a body of symbols and notation. Okay? So, start muna tayo sa relations and functions. So, relations and functions, uh, all throughout your, I think, high school days, uh, paulit-ulit na binabanggit kung ano yung meaning nito. So, i-revisit lang natin in order for us to recall kung ano ba talaga yung ibig sabihin niya. Okay? So, relation. Relation is a set of ordered pairs. So, ordered pairs, so meaning meron kayong two coordinates. Yung two coordinates na yun, pertaining tayo sa uh, domain and range. Okay? So, pinaka-key term dito is ordered pairs. Siya, uh, may domain and range. And kapag sinabi natin domain, siya a set of the first coordinate. So, first coordinate pertaining tayo sa x coordinate. Okay? And yung range natin is for the second coordinate or yung y coordinate natin. So pertaining tayo dito sa uh, sa sa axis natin, ano? sa Cartesian plane natin. Okay? So basta may ordered pairs tayo, meron tayong um, a pair ng x and y values, meron tayong relation na tinatawag. Okay? Then, ano naman yung function? So, if function is a relation, ibig sabihin may ordered pair tayo pinag-usapan sa function, in which each element of the domain, o each yung x-coordinate natin, is paired with exactly one element of the range. So, ibig sabihin, yung x-value natin, meron siyang isang y-value. Okay? So, another way of saying it is, there is only one and only one output of y with each input of x. Okay? So, let's say dito. Tignan natin to. So, we have our x as our input, yung domain natin. Pag pinasok natin siya dun sa mismong function natin, yung output natin will be yung range natin or yung y value natin. Yung range. Okay? So, for every value of x, there is a value of y. Next, so ito lang yung notation na ginagamit natin na hopefully uh, familiar na kayo kasi ginagamit din natin ito sa calculus. So yung y natin is the output, so from previous slide, so siya yung output o yung range. Then yung f is yung name of function, then yung x is yung input natin or yung domain natin. Okay. So dito, paano ma-identify kung function or not function yung given set natin. So, let's say meron tayo dito yung dalawang group ng set. No? So, ito yung isang set. So, tawagin ko tong set na to set A, set B. So, sabihin natin yung set A is yung domain natin and yung set B is yung range natin. Anong ulit pag function? Dapat, may one value ng o may value ka ng x, may value ka ng y. Okay? So, this example natin, may value kang 1, meron kang p, may value kang 2, may value kang q, 
ay value kang 3, may meron kang value q. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng domain natin may particular value ng range, ng, dom ng range natin, ng y. So, ibig sabihin, siya ay function. Kailan saan hindi nagiging function? Kapag yung particular domain natin, let's say ito, so, sabi natin set A ulit ito, and set B. And yung particular value ng domain natin, nagka meron ng dalawang value ng y, which is impossible para maging function siya. At sabi nga natin, dapat exactly 1 lang yung value, yung range natin, yung value ng y natin, para masabing function siya. Okay? So, dito, 1, may value P. Yung 2 natin, it's either P or Q yung nakalagay. So, hindi siya function kasi nagka meron na siyang dalawang value ng range. And yung tinira natin, equals to R. Okay? So, yun lang yung pag-identify kung function or not function. Yung given, asset or map natin. So, mapping din yung tawag sa ganito, na example. Next. So, determine whether each relation is a function. So, we have the set na 2, 3, 3, 0, 5, 2, and 4, 3. So, itong mga mga number na to pertaining sa points, no? Anywhere in the Cartesian plane natin. So, meron tayong x and y coordinate. So, sabi dito sa una, if we have 2 na input, pag nilagay natin sa f of x, meron tayong makukuha 3 na output. Kapag may 3 tayong input, may output na 0. Input na 5, output na 2. Input na 4, output na 3. Okay? So, yun yung mga relations niya. Malagi siyang may ordered pair. Ngayon, paano yung itsura niya kapag i-mapping natin siya? So, sa mapping natin, pwede natin i-represent si... So, let's say, i-represent natin sa mapping. So, bawa ito. Kasi yung set A ulit natin. So, yung set A natin, gawin natin yung domain natin, yung lahat ng x-coordinate natin. So, we have... We have 2. Meron tayong 3. Meron tayong 5. Tapos meron tayong 4. And then, yung another mapping natin is yung set natin na do range natin. So, we have 0, 2, and 3. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung relationship nila. Si 2, uh, related siya kay 3. Okay? Si 3, related siya kay 0. Si 5, related siya kay 2. And si 4, related siya kay 3. Okay? So, kita natin na yung lahat ng domain natin is my unique na value lang ng y, ng range natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, exactly 1 lang yung nagiging value niya sa y. Meron tayo nagkaparehas na value na 3, pero magkaibang range siya, no? na, magkaibang domain siya. No? So, may mga function na gano'n na pwedeng uh, magkaiba siya ng range. Ah, magkaiba siya ng domain pero mag-arrive siya sa isang range. So, meaning, since lahat ng x o ng domain natin is may particular value ng y, therefore, the given relation is a function. Okay? Okay? Next is ito naman yung vertical line test tinatawag. So, vertical line test is yung ginagamit na pang test kung ang given curve natin is a function or not. So, basically, ang pinaka technique lang is mag-draw kayo ng vertical line along dun sa length ng curve natin. Then, kapag nag-intersect more than one yung vertical line natin dun sa given curve, ibig sabihin hindi na siya function. Okay? So, yun lang naman yun. So, dapat no vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point. Okay? So, let's try. Let's try to create vertical lines along the curve. So, yung first one, dito muna tayo sa uh, left side. So, yung sa left side natin ito. So, let's try to create vertical lines. So, along the length ng curve. Okay? So, kita natin, kahit saan natin lagyan ng vertical line, uh, once lang nag intersect sa kulay pula. No? So, ibig sabihin, therefore, yung first curve natin is a function. Okay? 
yung next curve natin, we have a parabola. So, pag tinay natin, okay, so, all throughout ng length niya, once lang tayo nag intercept na sa curve. Okay. So, therefore, function siya. Last, we have an ellipse. So, nagpas through tayo ng line. Nag-intersect siya ngayon sa dalawang points, no? So, ito yung mga points na yan. So, pag through ng isang vertical line, dalawang points yung ni-intercept niya. So, therefore, hindi siya function. Okay? So, yun lang yung pinaka- Uh, key natin kung paano i-identify yung function kapag graphically yung test natin. No? Okay? And ito, ito pa yung mga other tests. So, yung first one. So, let's try mag-create ng vertical line. So, we see na isang beses lang. So, therefore, siya ay a function. Next, we have a vertical line. So, pag nag-pass to tayo ng line dyan. So, passing through lahat dun sa points niya. So, therefore, not a function. Okay. Kasi lahat ng points is nadaanan. And dito sa pangatlo. Okay. So we see kapag nag vertical line tayo, nagpa-pass through sa dalawang points. Okay. Therefore, not a function. And last is we have a graph. Ito. Yung curve na yan. So kapag nag vertical line test tayo, Only one siya nag-pass through. So, therefore, siya ay function. Okay? So, mali na ba yung vertical line test to identify if the given curve is a function or not? Yes, po. Okay. Next is yung kinds of function natin. So, we have two kinds of function. So, yung first one is yung one-to-one -one function. And yung second one, second one is on-to function. So, yung difference lang niya, pag sinabing one-to-one -one function, Uh, a function in which each value of y in the range of f, there is just one value of x. Okay? So, kaya sa 1 to 1, sabihin, one value of x, one value of y. So, pag nag-input ka ng isang value ng x, isa lang yung makukuha mong y, hindi dalawa. So, 1 to 1 siya. Okay? Then, on to naman siya kapag daw yung mapping of f is said to be on to if every element of y is the f image of at least one element of x. So, medyo mahirap yung definition niya pag yun yung bakwabasa na natin. Pinaka-key term na lang siguro is uh, all elements in y so yung data of nating range uh, should be used dapat. Okay? So, sasabihin mo siyang onto function siya kapag lahat ng value ng range mo is nagamit. Okay? Yung y mo. So, yung one-to-one -one function, tinatawag natin siyang injecture. Okay? And yung onto function naman natin, tinatawag natin siyang surjective. Surjecture. Ano? Surjecture. So, define natin uh, yung bawat isa sa kanya. So, we go to one to one. So, look at the given sets. So, yung sa first one, functions are not one to one kasi meron tayong dalawang value ni x dito. Meron tayong 4 and 11. Pero, nag-produce siya or equal siya pag in-input natin sa function, ang output niya is the same. Again, ang key natin, kapag 1 to 1 siya, dapat 1 value of x, 1 value ng y. Okay? Dapat pag nag-input ka ng isang x, wala siyang... Pag nag-input ka ng iba pang x, iba na yung magiging value niya. So, yun lang yung pinaka-exclusive uh, na bagay na kailangan tandaan kay R1 to 1. Dapat unique yung value niya. Unique value of x, unique value of y. Okay? So, kaya not one-to-one to. Then, -one to. yung second natin dito, pag-chinect natin, 
Ano tayong tatlong domain? Para maging one to one, on, on one to one siya, dapat meron din tatlong different values of y. Okay? Kaya nakita nyo dito, straight line lang siya. No? Kaya siya maging one to one. Okay? Okay? So, let's try this. So, ano naman yung test, graphical test, para malaman kung one to one yung given function natin. May natawag naman tayong horizontal line test. So, basically, same lang siya nung vertical line test. Ang pagkakaiba lang, hindi horizontal yung, yung method o yung way nung pag, paglagay nyo yung line. And same concept, kapag nag-intersect siya ng, one, ng more than one dun sa given curve natin, meaning hindi na siya one-to-one uh, -one function. Let's uh, look at itong first example. So, meron tayo ditong x squared plus 1. So, meron tayong parabola. Then, nag-pass tayo ng horizontal line. Makikita natin, nag-intersect nag siya dito sa dalawang point na to. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya one-to-one -one function. So, para natin ma-justify yun. Huh? So, yung given function natin, ito equals din to sa y is equals to x squared plus 1. Huh? So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa, may, value, may given value tayo ni x. Halimbawa, sabi ko, if x is negative 2, ang value ni y ay 2, uh, negative 2 squared is 4 plus 1, so 5. Then, kapag halimbawa, ang x natin is equals to positive 2, ang y natin is also 5. Okay? So, halimbawa, yung na-intercept na yun, ito yun, ano? So, ito yung negative 2, ito yung 2. Tapos itong point na to is yung 5 natin. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung partition na yun. No? Ito yung points na yun. So, nagka meron tayo ng dalawang kung ilalagay natin sa sa mapping ulit. No? So, meron tayo yung dalawang value ng x. So, meron tayong 2 at so, negative 2. Pero nagka meron lang tayo ng isang value ni y. So, yung ano natin is naging ganyan. Okay? So, hindi na meron ng unique value ng y. So, therefore, siya ay naging, uh, hindi siya nagpo-fall under. Siya ay not 1 to 1. Okay? So, dynastify lang natin kung bakit naging not 1 to 1 yun. Pagkatapos natin ma-verify yung uh, horizontal line test niya. Okay? Then, yung next is we have... Uh, an equation of a line. Ito. So, we have y is equals 2x minus 1. So, yung line na yun is ganito yung itsura. Then, if we pass through a horizontal line, makita natin na uh, once lang siya nag-intersect doon. Okay? So, meaning, every unique value ni x, magkakameron ka ng value ni y. Okay? So, ba, mag maglagay ka ng x na negative value, dito pupunta yun x na positive value, so ito yung magiging mga values niya. So therefore, this particular curve is 1 to 1. Okay? So, note din natin na all linear equations or line kapag pinlat natin is a one-to-one -one function. Okay? So, lagi yun. Ano? Kasi, laging uh, nagiging unique yung value ni y every time mag, mag substitute tayo ng value ni x. Okay? Basta linear lang siya. Ha? Linear, ibig sabihin, uh, yung form ng equation natin is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. So, dapat ganyan yung form na para maging linear siya. Then last, we have ito, y is equal to x cube. Ito yung curve natin. Then, nag-pass through tayo ng horizontal line. Kita natin na sa isang beses lang siya nagpa-pass through dun sa given curve natin. So, therefore, yung y is equal to x cube natin is also a one-to-one -one function. Okay? Kasi kung halimbawa, patrayin nyo naman mag-ano, Try nyo mag 
Maka substitute ng value sa x cube, halimbawa x is equal to 1, so y is equal to 1, tapos pag x is equal to negative 1, y natin is equal to negative 1. Excuse me. So therefore, 1 to 1 yung given uh, curve natin na y is equal to x cube. Okay? So mali na po ba para sa 1 to 1 pang from? Okay. Next. So we have two examples. Determine down natin kung one to one function siya. Okay. So ito is assuming na marunong na kayong mag uh, mag mag plot ng ng line na no, no ng curve. So ito pag nirewrite ko, this can be rewritten as one is equals to three x plus four over five. Or pag tinaras, uh, cross multiply ko, 5y equals 3x plus 4. Okay? Then kapag naka-standard form siya, 3x minus 5y is equal to 4. Okay? Para ma-plot yan, so ito is an example of a line. Para ma-plot yan, pwede tayong mag-assume ng values of x and y. Okay? So, x and y. So, assume kong values ito. Okay. So, kapag si x is Okay. Okay. Pag si x is negative 2, ang value ni y is uh, negative 2 over 5. So, negative 0.4. Pag siya ay negative 1, we have 0.2. Pag siya ay 0, we have 0.8. Pag siya ay 1, we have 1.4. Kapag 2, we have 2. Okay? So, kailangan ma-plot natin yan. So, ito yung partition plane natin. Then, plot natin. So, we have negative 2. So, negative 0.4. So, let's say, sabihin natin, yun yung maliit na yun. Tapos negative 1, then positive 0.2. So, I'm guessing marunong na kayo mag-plot lahat, ha? Uh, 0.8. Then so 1. 1.4. Then 2. 2. Okay? So, yan yung trend ng line natin. So, pag pinag-connect-connect natin. So, straight line siya, na. So, yan yung line natin. Okay? And para maging malaman kung 1 to 1 siya, is yung horizontal line test natin. So, pag nag-horizontal line test tayo, once lang tayo nag intersect dun sa given line natin. Okay? So, therefore, yung first example natin is 1 to 1. And then again, pag nalaman naman natin na linear function yung... Uh, given equation sa atin, alam natin na siya ay 1 to 1 agad. Okay? So, pinakita ko lang ulit kung paano i-graph siya. Okay? Next is we have itong fx is equal to square root of 2x plus 3. So, pwede ko marirate as y is equal to square root of 2x plus 3. Then, kapag in squared both side, we have y squared is equal to 2x plus 3. So, this is an example of of a parabola opening to the right. Okay? So, y squared is equal to 2 times x plus 3 halves para makuha ko yung center. So, yung center natin will be uh, negative 3 halves and 0. Okay? So, hindi ko na dito sa so, kung ikunin nyo. Dapat tandaan nyo na yan sa conics nyo, sa pre-calculus nyo. So, we have, alimbawa, itong, ito yung curve natin, partition natin. Okay. So, kailangan natin i-locate yung center sa so negative 1.5. So, 1, 2. So, ito yun. Then, opening to the right siya kasi positive to. So, yung graph natin will be like this one. Okay. So, yan yung graph natin. 
And kapag, para malawan kung one-to-one -one function siya, is horizontal line test tayo. So, kita natin na once lang siya nag intersect uh, doon sa given curve natin. No? Okay. So, therefore, ang given function natin is also a one-to-one. Question regarding one to one. Okay, let's proceed. Sa unto function. Okay, so sa unto function, nang lagi niyo tatandaan, dapat lahat ng y magamit, lahat ng y value magamit. So dito sa example na to, tinulat niyo dalawa. Lahat ng nasa set b may nakaturong araw, so on to function na agad siya. Unlike dito sa kabila, nakita nyo, yung for walang nakaturong arrow, ibig sabihin hindi siya nagamit, not on to na agad siya. Hindi siya on to function agad. Okay? So, yun lang yung sa on to function. Dapat lahat ng y magamit. Lahat ng range magamit. Okay? Pag hindi siya magamit yung range, hindi siya on to function. Okay? So, let's try ito. To determine whether each function is on to function. So we have ito parehas siyang line, no? So parehas siyang line, i-assume ko na lang yung graph niya. Hindi siya hindi okay. So kapag 1 yung x, meron tayong 2. Kapag 2 yung x, meron tayong Pag yung x ay negative 1, meron tayong 0. So, yung magiging trend ng line, ganun. So, pag pinag-connect natin. Okay. So, yung trend natin is ganun. Okay? So, yan yung diagram natin. Then, pag tinungan natin, kahit anong i-substitute natin yung value ni x, meron tayong unique value ni y. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, any value dito sa x at sa y na to, kahit anong gamitin natin y, meron tayo laging x na value. No? So, therefore, siya ay on to function. Okay? Same as dito sa next figure natin. Sa next figure natin, uh, nag-iba lang yung, yung location siguro ng line. Uh, let's say, sabi natin, nandito yung line na yan. Okay? Pero again, any value ni, ni lahat ng values ni y, magagamit natin. Basta, sasab, ano, basta meron tayong value ni x. Okay? So, mag, uh, kasi di ba nag-extend to infinite? So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng parts ni y, tamo to, sa tapat niya, lahat nagagamit. Si positive y, Tapos ito si, positive, si negative y, nagagamit lahat. No? So, therefore, yung given equation natin is also an onto function. Okay? Okay? Then, let's try this one. It's the line 3x minus 4 on 2 or 1 to 1. Okay? So, try natin i-solve. I-graph yung 3 minus 4, 3x minus 4. So, we have y is equal to 3x minus 4. So, pag in natin, oh, sige, i-table natin yung assumed value natin ng x and y. Okay, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, kapag negative 2 si x, we have negative 10. Negative 1 to negative 7. Negative 4. Negative 1. Positive 2. Okay. Then yung graph natin will be like this. Yung Cartesian natin. Then negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So natin, ito yung point na yun. Negative 1 and 7. Ito. 0, negative 4. Then 1, negative 1. Then 2, positive 2. Okay? So, yung 
trace ng line natin is okay, so yun yung curve natin. So, to check para malaman natin kung one-to-one -one siya, kailangan vertical, uh, horizontal line test tayo. So, change linear yan ulit. Therefore, siya ay one-to-one. -one. Check natin kung on-to siya. Yung line natin is nag extend uh, infinitely dito, pataas, saka pababa. Tapos pag check natin yung graph, Lahat siya is dadaan sa lahat ng value ng y. Okay? So, lahat ng value ng y. So, meaning, siya din ay on to din siya. No? So, kapag one to one siya and also on to function siya, ang tawag ngayon sa kanya is um, no to? Um, bijection yung tawag sa kanya. Okay. Sa pareha siyang nag fall under on to and one to one function. Okay. Okay, next. We have gx equals to x squared minus 2. Is it on to or is it one to one? Okay. So, ito is y is equals to x squared minus 2. So, quadratic ulit siya. So, isa lang yung naka-square na variable. So, meaning siya ay paramula. Okay. Pasabi na lang kay Mr. Raymond. Pabiyo na lang ng video. Ms. Castillo. Okay. Then, pag kinuha natin yung standard form ng parabola, we have x squared is equal to y plus 2. Or we have uh, x squared is equal to y plus 2. Okay? Yung center natin will be 0, negative 2. Then, pag ginraft natin siya, okay? So, negative 2 yung center. So, negative 2 yung center. Then, uh, since x squared tapos positive tong side na to, so opening upward yung parabola natin. Na? Okay, yun yung diagram natin. Okay? So, test natin. Is it 1 to 1? Uh, horizontal line test tayo. So, nag-intersect sa dalawang point, kada line. So, therefore, not 1 to 1. Okay. As check natin kung is it on to function. So tingnan natin. So on to function dapat ay lahat ng y natin is magamit, no? Para makikita natin dito na yung graph natin mag-extend lang siya mula dito sa 2 pataas na doon, no? Sabihin yung less than negative 2 yung dito, yung infinite na negative 3 hanggang infinity, negative infinity. Hindi siya nagamit. Yung sabihin, yung range na yun is hindi natin matatap dito sa curve na to. So meaning, not on to dun siya. No? So, neither siya. So ibig sabihin, hindi natin siya pwede classify as on to or one to one function. Okay? So, okay na ba tayo sa function? Okay naman? Okay. So, let's proceed dun sa word problem na tayo. So, translating words into symbols. Okay. So, so in our daily life, hindi naman tayo inuutusan ng limbawa ng parents natin. Limbawa, Juan. Ano yun? 4x plus 35 equals 115. Okay? So basically, never natin bukod sa school, hindi na natin na-apply masyado yan sa real life na ganun yung usapan natin. Ano? Depende na lang talaga kung yun yung trip nyo. Ah? Pero pagkalimbawa, may gusto ko yuto sa'yo yung nanay nyo. O limbawa ito, sinabi niya, meron kang 1,000 pesos, 
ilan yung matitira kapag halimbawa kailangan mo bayaran yung yung bill sa tubig na 250 ilan yung matitira so by uh, nung previous nating knowledge sa uh, mathematics ng elementary at high school tayo madali natin masasabi na 750 yung matitira no pero kung i isipin natin inapply na natin dito yung pagtranslate ng mismong uh, mismong word o mismong sentence into a algebraic equation. Okay? Kasi alam natin na 1,000 yung hawak natin then 250 yung sagot na hinahanap natin yun yung unknown variable natin. Na minsan para makuha yung unknown value na yun we express that into a variable. Okay? So When translating a verbal expression, you first need to identify the unknown and assign it as a variable. Okay. It is often helpful to write this down. So, for example, yung previous example natin na pinapaalam kung ano yung kumakano yung sukli. So, pwede natin ilagay na left N is yung amount ng budget na matitira kapag binayaran na natin yung tubig. So, pwede yung Uh, magiging function, ang equation natin doon, 1,000 minus 250 equals to N. Okay? So, yun yung N na yun, yun yung hinahanap natin budget. So, by that simple sentence, nakapag-create na agad tayo ng translated algebraic expression. Okay? Yung N na yun, yung variable na i-assign natin is called a legend. So, legend yung tawag sa kanya. And we can always refer to that every time na nagsasolve tayo ng given equation. Okay? So sa pag-solve ng mga equation, like uh, we have already experienced during our elementary and high school days, lagi tayo may operations na, na ginagamit. Okay? So katulad din nung dati, meron pa rin tayo nung MDAS na tinatawag. Yung, kung ito hindi naka-arrange, yung addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay? Pero ngayon, mas ano na tayo, mas advanced na tayo, kaya yung magamit natin tayo ng mga power, so yung naka-exponent na yung mga number, and also yung equals. So, may mga inequality na tayong ginagamit, or uh, may equals na symbol na tayong ginagawa, ginagawa. Okay? So, explain natin each operation. So, let's first have addition. So, yung addition, ito yung mga following, uh, mga key terms o keywords na makikita nyo sa sentences na pwede mag-signify na addition yung gagamitin yung operation. Okay? So, we have more than, plus, increase, add, older than, tsaka raise. Okay? So, kapag ginamit nyo yung sa sentence, mayroon mo kayong algebraic expression na makukuha. Ma, ma so, let's say, for example, the sum of 3 and a number. So, nakita nyo na 3 and a number, yung a number is yung unknown natin. Tapos sum, so kaya naging n plus 3. Okay? Same dito, 7 more than a number. So, pwede yung a number, yung unknown, plus 7, or 7 plus n. Take note that addition is commutative. Okay? Commutative, ibig sabihin kahit magkabaliktad yung arrangement nyo ng term, same lang yung answer na makukuha natin. So, so n plus 7 is the same as 7 plus n. Okay? Then, ito yung mga iba pang key terms na pwede natin gamitin. So, let's try that into an example. So, ito. So, we have um, the sum of two numbers is 84 and one of them is 12 more than the other. What are the two numbers? Okay. So, yung term natin, the sum. Okay. Of two numbers. So, meron daw tayong two numbers na pinag-uusapan. Okay. Is. So, si is is laging pertaining sa equals. 84. And, and one of them is okay, 12 more than the other. What are the two numbers? So, pwede tayo maglagay ng legend. So, let natin si x as yung first number. Asabi natin, kasi two numbers tayo, 
Gamit din ako ng y as second number. Okay? Tapos yung unang statement, the sum of two numbers is 84. Since yung x plus y yung numbers ko, yung sum daw nun, so ibig sabihin x plus y is, so equals, 84. So ito yung una natin equation. And then yung second sentence, and one of them, one of them, so si one of them, i, I set ko as siya si y. Okay? One of them is 12 more than the other. More than, so plus, as the other, yung other natin, i-assume ko as si x. So, ibig sabihin, y is 12 more than the other. Okay? So, yun daw yung value ni y. Tanong, what are the numbers? Okay? So, mayroon tayong two equations, 1 and 2. Pwede natin substitute sa equation 2, papunta kay equation number 1. Okay, so we have x plus 12 plus x is equal to 84. And we we'll simplify, so we have 2x plus 12 is equal to 84. And transpose natin yung 12 sa kabila. So we have 84 minus 12 or 2x is equal to 72, divide natin by 2, both sides, para ma-isolate si x. x is equal to 36. So, it, yung, ito yung first number, sa so 36. And kunin natin sa second number, y is equal to 12 plus x. So, it equals sa 12 plus 36. So, we have y is equal to 48. So, yung what are the now, two, two numbers na hinahanap natin? 36 and 48. So, ito yung sagot natin. Okay. Palino tayo dito. Okay. Next. So, we have the sum of two consecutive numbers is 37. What are they? So, we have the sum of two consecutive numbers is so equals 37. Two consecutive numbers. Ano ibig sabihin two consecutive? Dalawang magkasunod na number. No? So, let's say sabihin kong x is yung first number natin. Para makuha ko yung consecutive number ni x, ano yung susunod kong number sa kanya? So, alimbawa, meron akong 5. Anong kasunod na number ni 5? 6. So, nag plus 1 tayo. So, para makuha natin si second number, gawin natin x plus 1 sa so, second number. Okay? So, meaning, ibig sabihin, magkasunod yan. Kaya consecutive. Okay? Then, yung sum daw ng two consecutive, so yung sum, yung first number, tapos yung kasunod yung number, x plus 1, is 37. Okay? Then, simplify nyo lang natin, this will be 2x plus 1 equals to 37. So, 2x equals to 37 minus 1. 2x equals to 36. Then, divide natin both sides by 2. We have x is equals to 18. So, ito yung first number. Then, consecutive number natin is x plus 1 lang. So, 18 plus 1 is equals to 19. So, yung number na hinahat natin is 18 and 19. Okay? Next, we have subtraction. So, ito naman yung mga key terms kapag hinahanap natin is subtraction. So, we have minus, less than, subtract, decreased, younger than, tsaka lower. Okay? Pero ang kaibahan ni subtraction kay addition, not, hindi siya commutative. So, meaning, yung order ng uh, algebraic expression is very important. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin? So, a number minus 6 is different from 6 minus a number. Okay? So, di ba to A number minus 6, siya ay n minus 6. Dito, 6 minus a number, so siya ay 6 minus n. So, di ba kung halimbawa, n minus 6, sabihin natin n is equal to 1. So, 1 minus 6, so, yung n minus 6, kapag sinubstitute natin, will be 1 minus 6 equals sa negative 5. Okay? Pero pag halimbawa, naging siyang 6 minus n, so, 6 minus n. So, 6 minus 1 
equals to sa positive 5. So, yung order ng algebraic expression is very important. No? Kaya be careful dyan. Okay? So, basahin nyo nilang itong two slides na to kung ano yung difference, kung paano siya nagagamit. So, i-apply na natin siya sa example. So, we have this one. So, Nate weighs 185 pounds. So, I think si Si Nate, gawin natin N lang si Nate. Weighs 185 pounds. So, 185 pounds daw si Nate. Tapos Joey weighs 17 pounds less than Nate. Okay? So, si Joey, designate ko as J. Nag-weigh daw siya ng 17 pounds less than Nate. Ibig sabihin yung weight ni Nate na N less than 17. Okay? Yung term ha, 17 pounds less than Nate. So, yung 17, ima-minus po dun kay Nate. Okay? Kaya naging ganun yung equation niya. So, we have 185 pounds minus 17 pounds. So, we have 168 pounds. Okay. Next, we have the difference between a number, a number, assume natin as x, and 5 is, so equals 16. So find the number. So we have x. So difference, ibig sabihin minus, uh, subtraction, ano? minus 5 is 16. So, para makakuha yung number, so, transpose lang natin. We have x equals to 16 plus 5. So, x is equals to 21. Okay? So, yun sa subtraction. Next, we have multiplication. So, ito yung mga key terms for multiplication. Commonly used ay times, product, twice, doubled, multiplied, or yung word na of. Okay? So, yung of usually ginagamit siya for multiplying fractions times a number. Okay? Then, we have an example. So, 2 times a number is 50. 2 times a number, so a number, si x, then is i equals 50. What is the number? So, 2 times the number is 50. So, para masolve yan, uh, Isolate natin si x. So, x is equal to 25. So, yun yung number na nahanap natin. Okay. Next, we have a seal has 1,500 nerves per whisper. That is 10 times as many as a rat has. How many nerves per whisper does a rat have? So, a seal... So, tawagin kong S na lang si Seal. Then, si Rat ay R. Okay? So, si S daw ay merong 1,5 nerve per whisker. Okay? Tapos, dot. Yung dot na sinasabi dito is yung si Seal. Okay? Is. So, equal 10 times 10 times as many, okay, as rat. So, 10 are how many nerves per whisker does a rat have, okay? So, para makuha si R, divide natin both sides by 10. So, R will be equal to S over 10. So, substitute natin yung value ni S. R is equal to 1, 5 nerves per whisker over 10. So, we have R is equal to 150 nerve per whiskers. So, yun yung sagot kay R. Okay? Then, we have division. So, yung mga keywords naman for division is usually divided by, tsaka divided by, into. Okay? So, again, this uh, division is not commutative. Okay? 
So, hindi siya para siyang subtraction na yung order is very important. Kaya, we have to pay close attention dun sa mga um, order ng expressions natin. Okay? So, quotient is also a keyword for division kasi yung quotient yung tawag sa sagot ng division. Okay? So, example. So, we have the ratio of girls to boys in class is 9 to 7. So, girls to boys is equal to 9 over 7. And there are 80 students in the class. How many girls are there in the class? Okay? So, let's say, tawagin natin si X is yung number of boys. Okay? And si Y is yung number of girls. Okay? Basa dun sa second statement, there are 80 students in the class. Okay? 80 students in the class. So, 80 students yung total nung boys and girls. So, ibig sabihin, X plus Y ay equal sa 80 yung total number ng student. Ngayon si Y, yung number ng girls, pwede natin i-represent as term of, in terms of X. In terms of X. So Y is equal to 80 minus X. So ito yung number of girls natin. Okay? In terms of X. Then para makuha natin yung value ng X, kunin natin yung ratio. So yung number of girls over number of boys. So 80 minus x over number of girls a uh, boys is x equals to yung ratio na 9 over 7 and we cross multiply we have 7 times 80 minus x is equals to 9x so we have uh, 560 minus 7x equals to 9x then combine like terms we have So we have 560 is equal to 16x. So divide natin 16 both sides. We have x is equal to 35. Yung x is yung number of boys, so hindi natin kailangan yan. So y is equal to 80 minus x or 80 minus 35. So we have uh, 80 minus 35 so y is equal to 45. So ito yung number of girls na hinahanap natin sa class. Okay? Next. Jeff has one half pizza left in the fridge. At breakfast, he ate one third of it. What fraction of the original pizza does he have for lunch? Okay. So, yeah. tanong kung ilan yung natira niya. Mula doon sa mga tira niya. Okay. So, we have X as yung original pizza natin. Okay. Okay. Yung natira na pizza na nilagay niya sa ref is one half. So, ibig sabihin one half ng X, ito yung nasa fridge. No? Okay. Tapos nung breakfast daw, kinain niya yung one-third ng one-half. So, ilan yung one-third ng one-half? So, siya ay x over 6. Ito yung kinain niya uh, portion he ate for breakfast. Ang tanong, what fraction of the original pizza does he have for lunch? So, ilan yung kinain niya para sa lunch? So, depende na lang kung ilan yung natira dun sa kalahating tinago niya. So, yung pinaka, ano natin, yung x over 2, ito yung tinago niya sa rep, minus yung kinain niya nung breakfast, equals dun sa uh, tatitirang fraction ng pizza. Okay? So, ito will be 6, 6 divided by 2, is 3 times x, so 3x minus x, so we have 2x over 6, so we have one third of x, so therefore, ito yung one third ng pizza yung natitira na kakain niya para sa lunch. Okay?
Then, so sa powers, uh, ito yung mga basic na nakababasa natin. The square of a number or a number squared. O pwede din the cube of a number or a number cube. Okay? So, nilalagay lang natin ng exponent yung unknown number. So, wala na akong example na nilagay dito. Then, next, we have equals. So, yung ginagamit natin kanina. Kapag so, nakita tayo ng is, equals is the same as, yields or amounts to na word. Lahat yan ay equals ang uh, ibig sabihin. No? So, ito yung mga sample na terms o sentences. Ginagamit yung equals. Okay? So, in every in other word problems, hindi restricted sa isang operation lang yung ginagamit natin. So, more or less, yung magamit tayo ng two or more operations to be able to answer the particular problem. No? So, kaya meron tayong mga combined uh, ex uh, expressions in one equation. So, some words required to use ayun nga, one, two, one or more, two or more, or more than one na operation. So, like for example ito, yung John has three more than four times a number. So, more than, nag-addition siya, then nag-times, times as many, kaya ganito yung equation niya. Yung sa kasunod, 8 times a number, so multiplication, decrease by 3, so, so may subtraction siya. And dito, sum of 2 thirds of a number, so sum, addition, then 2 thirds of is multiplication. Kaya meron siyang ganong expression. Okay? So ngayon, gagamitin natin yung mga lahat ng operation or combined operation para sa pag-solve ng mga word problem. Okay? So we have this one. So using combined operation, a number decreased by half of the number is 4. Find the number. So a number, so a number na tinatawag natin, ito yung unknown number natin. Decrease by half of the number. So half daw ng number is, so equals 4. No? So ibig sabihin x minus, kasi ito ay decrease, so minus. So, minus 1 half ng number is 4. Pinapahanap ano yung value ng x. So, to simplify lang natin. Magiging 1 half x is equals to 4. Then, cross multiply natin. x is equals to 8. Okay? Next, we have 2 thirds of the sum of 3 times a number and 6 is 10. What is the number? Okay, i chop chop natin yung sentence. So, two-thirds. So, mayroon tayong two-thirds daw of the sum. So, dapat two-thirds of. So, two-thirds of, two-thirds of, ito yun. And then, tas, yung sum nung kasunod na sentence, yun yung ito two-thirds natin. Sub, sum of three times a number. So, ito x. Then, three. Then, ito sum. And 6, so 3x three, three plus 6. So 2 thirds nun is, so equals doon siya sa 10. Okay? So yan yung equation natin. So cross multiply ko lang yung 3. So magigitong 2 times 3x plus 6, it will be 30. Then distribute natin, we have 6x plus 12 is equals to 30. So 6x equals to 30 minus 12, or 6x is equals to 18. Divide natin both side by 6. So we have x is equals to 3. So ito yung number na hinahanap natin. Okay? Next, we have, think of a number. So let's say ito yung number na naisip natin, x. Then double down natin yung number. So dinoble natin yung number. Then subtract 6 from the result. So minus 6 daw. Then divide down natin yung answer by 2. Then divide down natin by 2. The quotient, so yung magiging quotient daw will be, okay, so sama to sa equals, will be 20. Okay. So, what is the number? So, ito yung equation na nakuha natin. Cross multiply. We have 2x minus 6 is equals to 40. So, 2x transpose natin. We have 34 
divide natin both side by 2. Ah, sorry. Magiging plus pala yun. So, it should be 46. Okay. And divide natin by 2. So, we have x is equal to 23. Okay. Next. So, one number is 10 more than the other. The sum of twice the smaller plus 3 times the larger is 55. What are the numbers? Okay. One number, so, gawin natin si x yan, is, so equals, 10 more than the uh, than another. So, another is y. Gawin natin y. So, gawin natin muna yung first sentence. So, x is equals 10 more than, so plus, 10 plus y. Okay, so first equation natin yun. Then the sum of twice, the sum. Okay, the sum, so plus tayo. Twice the smaller. So, kailangan identify natin yung smaller tsaka larger. No? So, gawin natin smaller ay si y. Kasi, iba pag larger, mas malaki yung value. So, 10 plus y, ibig sabihin, mas dinagdagan natin yung value ng y. So, mas larger si x, no? Gawin natin si y si smaller and si x si larger. Okay? So, the sum of twice the smaller twice the smaller plus 3 times the larger is 55. Ito yung second equation natin. Pinapahanap what are the two numbers. So, dito sa first equation, mga tayong value ng x, substitute na lang natin dun sa second equation. We have 2y plus 3 times 10 plus y is equal to 55. And we simplify 2y plus 30 plus 3y is equal to 55. So, we have 5y, transpose yung 30, we have 25. Then, 5, 5. So, we have y is equal to 5. And then, para makuha natin si larger number, 10 plus y is just 10 plus y. So, equal sa sa 15. So, yung pinapahanap na number sa atin is 5 and 15. So, yun yung sagot natin. Okay? Question so far? Wala naman po sa Okay, thank you. Mga kumakain na yung iba, ha? okay lang. <laughs> Basta makinig, okay lang na kung kumakain na yung iba sa harap ng computer. <laughs> okay, next. Yes, we have this one. Combine operational lift. If the product of a number and negative 7 is reduced by 3, the resulting number is 33 less than twice the opposite of that number. What is the number? Okay. So, so, try natin na let x natin is the number. Okay. So, product of a number, so si x and negative 7 is, so equals, ah, di pala, is reduced, sorry, is reduced by 3. The product of a number, so yung product ng x, Tsaka negative 7 is reduced by 3. Okay, minus 3. The resulting number is 33 less than twice the opposite. Pag sabi opposite, excuse me, of that number. So, ang opposite nung number natin, so, di ba ang the number natin is yung x? Ang opposite niya is negative x. So, negative x is the opposite number. Okay? So, 33 less than twice the opposite. So, to twice natin yung opposite number, less 33. Okay? What is the number? So, ito yung equation na nakuha natin. So, we have negative 7x minus 3 is equal to negative 2x minus 33. Then, transpose natin sa ka, combine like terms. So, we have negative 3 plus 30 is equal to negative 2x plus 7x so we have, uh, this is 33. 
So we have positive 30 is equals to 5x. So divide natin both sides by 5. So we have x is equals to 6. So yun yung number na hinahanap natin. X is the number. Okay. Next. So yung difficulty nito, nag-iiba na. So ito is an example of uh, age problem. So si Abigail, Abigail, tawagin natin si letter A, si Abigail, is so equals 6 years older than Jonathan. So tawagin natin J si Jonathan. 6 years older than, older. So sabihin, kung si Jonathan, yan yung ang age ni Jonathan ng bawa ay x. Si Abigail is x plus 6. Okay? Tapos yung next na, ano, na sentence, 6 years ago, so 6 years ago, she was twice as old as he. Okay? So 6 years ago, kung 6, ito yung present age nila. Okay? Kung 6 years ago, so past, yung, ito yung sa past, kung 6 years ago, ibig sabihin si Jonathan is x minus 6. No? Then si Abigail ay x plus 6 minus 6. Okay? Kasi 6 years ago, yun yung past nila. Then, sabi she, yung she si Abigail, so yung age ni Abigail, was. So, yung was is past tense ng is. Is twice as old as he. As old as he. So, twice as old as the Jonathan. Okay? Then, simplify. So, we have x is equal to 2x minus 12. So, we have 12 is equal to x. So, si Jonathan, ibig sabihin sa present is 12 years old. Then, si Abigail, so, equal siya sa x plus 6, so, equal siya sa 12 plus 6, so, equal siya sa 18. So, therefore, si Jonathan ay 12, si Abigail ay 18. So, ito yung final answer natin. Years old. Okay. Next. I think this is the last example. So twice the larger of two numbers is three more than five times the smaller. And the sum of four times the larger number and three times the smaller number is 71. What is the larger number? Okay. So twice the larger of two numbers. So mag set na lang tayo ng x and y, no? So, si x, sabi natin si smaller. Then si y is si larger. Okay. So, twice the larger. Okay. Is equals sa 3 more than 5. 3 more than 5 times the smaller. Okay. So, twice the larger. Pag tinwice natin yung larger, equal siya sa 3 more than 5 times yung smaller plus 3. Okay, so ito yung first equation natin. So kasunod, in the sum of 4 times the larger, 4 times the larger, and 3 times the smaller, 3 times the smaller is 71. Okay, what is the larger number? So pinapanap si value ni y. So ito yung second equation natin. So by substitution, pala natin makuha yung value ni uh, Nung x and y. So, gamitin natin tong first equation. Nating y is equal to 5x plus 3 all over 2. So, substitute natin dito sa second equation. We have 5x plus 3 over 2 plus 3x is equal to 71. So, cancel out natin yung 2 sa ilalim. So, we have 2 times 5x plus 3 plus 3x is equal to 71. So we have 10x plus 6 plus 3x is equal to 71. We have 13x 
is equals to 65. So, cancel out natin yung 13. So, we have x is equals to 5. Okay? Pero hindi natin kailangan si x. Kailangan natin si y. So, 5 times x na 5 plus 3 over 2. So, we have 25 plus 3 over 2 or 28 over 2. Therefore, 14. So, yung larger number natin is equals kay 14. Okay? So, so, check natin. Si x ay 5, si y ay 14. So, mas malaki yung value ni y. So, tama yung assumption natin na si larger number si y. Okay? Question? Okay? So, if there are no more questions, that ends our lecture about functions and word problem or problem solving. Okay? So, yung... Please...